Tex, all of the attention, and you and I talked about it yesterday, on this extraordinary pitcher's duel. Garrett Cole showed up, and candidly, Shane Bieber did not. <laughs> what did you see? Well, Greeny, this is what you get when you start a postseason 60 games into the regular season. There's a reason that we play 162 games in baseball because you don't really know exactly what you're going to get from these guys in October. And if we'd played a whole season, maybe Garrett Cole is the Cy Young winner and not Shane Bieber. I saw Garrett Cole in complete dominant form, the guy that we've seen over the last three years. Shane Bieber just didn't have it. You know, the Yankees were not swinging his off-speed pitches, and then his fastballs were right over the plate, a little bit fat. But let's give some, some credit to the Yankees hitters. This team is so talented. And while they limped into the playoffs, while they were 11 and 18 on the road this year and, and had a lot of issues with, with injuries and, and performance you know, problems for some of their best players, still a very talented team, and they showed it last night. Absolutely. So the Rays were the best team in the American League this year, but the Yankees before the season began, I think we all agreed, had the best team. So... If they get pitching like they did from Cole and the Yankees are going to wake up, do they become the World Series favorite for the American League? Well, not yet. Again, uh, it's such a crazy season in 2020. I do believe that the Yankees have the talent to get to the World Series. By the way, I think of the 16 playoff teams, realistically, 11 teams can get to a World Series. And the Yankees are obviously one of them. Now, the question will be, Garrett Cole might be the best pitcher in the playoffs. Is Masahiro Tanaka that number two that you can put behind Cole and take him to the next level as well? And, and the Indians have a very good team. They're going to pitch Carlos Carrasco tonight and then, if needed, Zach Plesak in game three. So the series is not over, but what a great sign for Yankees fans that this lineup with so much power showed it last night. Do the Yankees suddenly look like maybe they are the favorites in the American League? Well, it's a good start, Greeny. Now, the Yankees do have two very tough pitchers they're facing in Carlos Carrasco and then, if needed, Zach Plesak in, in games two and three. But, you know, let's just look at this Yankees lineup. John Carlos Stanton's 30 years old. He's already won an MVP. If Aaron Judge stays healthy, he will someday win an MVP. And Glaber Torres might be the most talented group of the bunch. We didn't even talk about Luke Voigt and DJ LeMahieu, who were the two best hitters in their lineup all season. So, this Yankees team is stacked. And whenever Garrett Cole is on the bump, you have a really good chance of winning. So, the Yankees scoring a bunch of runs off the best pitcher in baseball was not the only surprising event of day one of this baseball postseason. Give me your overall reaction to what was really a crazy day. Yesterday was nuts. And listen, 2020 has been crazy, so why should we be surprised? Let's start with the Astros against the Twins. The Astros looked like they slept walked through the regular season. They had, obviously, the, the cheating scandal hanging over their heads and a very tough offseason. They go into Minnesota, who had the best record in all of baseball at home, but yet they win 4-1. to one. You know, the, the, the Twins make a big air. Jorge Polanco in the ninth allows the Astros to come back and score three runs. So th this Astros team that I didn't have any confidence in going in beats the Minnesota Twins at home. Then you go to the Chicago White Sox. Two weeks ago, they were the best team in the American League, and they limped into the playoffs. Lucas Giolito comes out there and completely dominates against the Oakland A's team that just figures out a way to score runs. Well, they didn't. Jose Abreu hits a big home run. This White Sox team, the seventh seed, beats the two seed. I mean, just one of those days, Greeny, where you throw the records out the window, throw the, the predictions out the window. I think we're going to see a lot of that this October. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.